Hey y'all and welcome to day four of our 12 days of Christmas with Artistry Epoxy. We found some glitter in our advent box for this day so we are going to make a half vinyl and glitter split tumbler. Let's get started. We are starting out with a 12 ounce Husky. This is a sublimation tumbler from the Steel Magnolia. You can also, of course, get them in prepped or in straight stainless steel, but I had full intention of <laughs> doing some sublimation tumblers and we just haven't made it there yet. So I just took some 220 grit sandpaper and lightly sanded over that white. And now we have a prepped tumbler ready to go. So be sure that you check that out on the website. Sometimes you can get great deals on sublimation tumblers because you can most certainly use those for epoxy projects. You just want to sand the gloss off of them just a little bit before you get started. And with a 12 ounce Husky, you can also interchange that with the regular 12 ounce Coolsy lid. And it goes from being a tumbler, a coffee mug, whatever you want to call it, to a koozie. Our vinyl that we are using is from the Steel Magnolia. I just trimmed that and I'm going to line it up with the top of the tumbler, leaving a teeny tiny bit of that stainless showing. And then we're going to work our way around until we get to our starting point. Trim the vinyl right in between where it overlaps and then remove the vinyl underneath and on top. Once I have my vinyl on, we don't have to measure to put our glitter on. We already have a nice straight edge on the bottom of our vinyl since we trimmed it with our vinyl cutter. So I'm just going to take some painter's tape, wrap it around like a hair above the bottom of our vinyl. And then we're going to go in with some black Color Flex Color Fix paint. And then we're going to go in with both Winter Wonderland and Winter Blues. There is only one glitter in day four. I am, however, showing the alternatives that you might receive so that everybody can see it, their glitter that they got in action. If you did not get an advent box, they are still available in limited quantities on the artistry.com or artistryepoxy.com website. But they are also having a daily virtual advent calendar on their website. So if you would like to just purchase this glitter or other items that are in the box, you can play along daily. You just open the box on the Artistry website and it will unlock a deal for the most recent Advent Days item. As I always say, whenever you are using any kind of paint, make sure that you are doing light, thin coats. That way you can build up your coverage and get very nice, clean, streak-free paint coverage. I was working on some other projects and had some epoxy left over, so we are going to use the epoxy method to apply our glitter. You can also use glitter glue from Artistry Epoxy as well. I'm just going to spread that very thin around the bottom side of this tumbler and then just dab my hand around to even out my epoxy so we can go straight in to adding our glitter. Now, since we're using two glitters and it's 
kind of a tight space for an ombre we are gonna do a few little streaks around the tumbler and just sort of blend those in together and the way that I'm doing that is doing very very light coats I'm just kind of going back and forth in the sections that I want to apply my glitter and then I'll go in between the first with the second glitter and do the same thing until my coverage is built up the way that I want it After we have our glitter on there, I'm going to roll it in a sheet of printer paper. You can also use parchment paper to flatten out those chunky bits of glitter so we can minimize the amount of epoxy and sanding we have to do to this cup. Once I have flattened my glitter out, I'm just going to remove that tape, allow this to dry for a few hours, and then spray seal it twice with a matte clear spray paint and gave this two coats of epoxy and sanded lightly to get any little bumps out of the way so we can apply our vinyl to create a perfect line that i can use as a guide for my vinyl i'm using the tumbler tool from cami page boutique i have a pen on one side and i'm just going to spin my tumbler around and make a mark all the way around the tumbler I could have used the line in between our glitter and our vinyl as a guide, but I wanted to make a little bit of a thicker line and bring that up a little bit. I did try to apply it without putting a line on there and it was crazy crooked. So <laughs> thank goodness for the amazing tools from Kimmy Page Boutique. So for our stripes, I am using one of the vinyls that are in the green vinyl pack they have sampler packs or craft packs available on their website now that have i believe five or six sheets of color coordinating vinyls which is really helpful whenever you have a blue cup you can go to your green or your blue pack if you have a pink cup you can go to your pink pack and you're almost guaranteed to find a vinyl that is gonna match and then i'm going to go over that with another tech wrap craft vinyl the black is a textured metallic black. Then you can go right in with your epoxy. I hope that y'all have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below and I'll get to them as quickly as possible. All the materials I have used in this tutorial will be listed in the description along with some coupon codes. Don't forget to play along virtually on the artistry website. I'll have that linked down below for y'all so you can take advantage of getting these amazing products every day or advantage of the great deals. That is all for today. Thank you all so much and we will see you next time.